Moro here, June 13th, 2023. I'm going to be showing you a, a yaitl, which is a practice katana. So not a shinken, which is a sharp katana, only an yaitl, a practice sword. This one is actually made in Japan. Prefecture of Seki City had over handed over at Eddie Hex, the weapon technician position in Abu Dhabi by Shinsuke san, and handled by the Japanese ambassador. It's a very special sword because of that. It originally cost $900, which is around 3,500 devils, but I am giving it away for a fraction of the cost. Details here. It's the tsuba the engraving. Very nicely done sword actually. In that uh, factory in Japan. It has not been mass produced. It's actually, it actually actually was custom made. So that's why it's a bit expensive. pattern, the hammer. It's made by a clay mixture, applying it and then heating it at a very high temperature. That's how you got this uh, wave pattern here, which is a clay mixture, charcoal and clay and whatnot. This is actually a sand cast zinc alloy. It's made of zinc alloy. a slight modification here by the owner, by the second owner of the buyer. It is sharpened over here, so even then it's not very sharp, even though it's sharpened here. Ironically, the boshi was not sharpened and the uh, kisaki was not sharpened either. Only over here. So, one should be careful if they were training with a partner, but other than that, postures, kamai, and uh, drawing, movement, striking, all that practice can be done perfectly fine. It's pretty, it's a bit heavy, which makes it good to work out as well. Good for technique, and it's realistic. It's, it's uh, almost a real shinken blade. which is the scabbard. It's actually wood, but it's been lacquered for months, two to three months, which makes it look like this. And here's the cord that I installed for it. I believe the cord is called Sagui. But this isn't, it didn't come with it, it's not the original one. It's just to help hold it on to the body. Now I'll just continue with the video. Me putting it back, just for you to make sure that it's stable. It's properly made. After placing it back, let's note that I can use the only one hand while recording to put it back. So look at this, it's very, very stable. I'm carrying it right now. See, it's not falling off, I'm shaking it. Because the sword collar, the habaki, is very well done. Fits perfectly into the scabbard side. Thank you for watching.
watching again this is june 13th 2023 and this was originally purchased in around 2010 so it's been around for around a decade thank you for watching tomorrow signing out